Greetings and salutations, Zerus. I'm Star Princess HLC, and welcome back to To the Moon. When we last left off, we were finding out more about Johnny and his wife, River. Found out that she has some form of autism, and they... I guess now we're dealing with uh, Johnny in a movie theater for some reason, so we'll see what happens here. Looks like he, uh, the kid's all by himself. Whoa, wait! I ain't, I ain't talking to no emo teenager. Grandma, my dear Watson. Shut up! That's not even a full sentence. Let's just go look for mementos. Alright, let's go look for mementos. Hey buddy, do you have any mementos? Oh, nope. Do you? Nope. What are you doing? That's the third person you've removed here. Actually, it's the second. Maybe you should actually count, dude. Eh, not like it's permanent. That's the third one. Neil needs to go back to math class. Why am I just erasing these people out of existence? That's what I'd like to know. You know that poking them out of the way like that does nothing, right? Then why complain? It's more fun this way. Why is it some are white and some are gray? Just saying. How about you? Nope. Why am I doing this? I don't understand that. Hey, kid. Kid stood up. Now that's a Kodak moment. You relate well with your kin, I see. Ouch. Rude much? Alright, fine. I'll just blink out some more people out of existence. Oh, look. This place is all empty and creepy now. I hope you're happy. Nah, I think it needs to be a little more alone and creepy. Oh. Okay. That was weird. What just happened? And I can't leave, obviously. The, the torn fabric of reality is, uh... Tearing the fabric of reality, if that makes any bit of sense. Can I talk to any of the people at the concession stand? No, they just ignore me. How rude. Well, there's nothing here. Hate to say it, but I guess I have to nag something out of them again. All yours. At least there's no all of this time. Good thing they don't sell that at concession stands. Wait. What's up? What's going on? Is an alien pop pop out? No, it's just River. Hi, River! You're adorable! River? You were in there this whole time? I waited for you at the lobby. I thought you didn't come. Why did you leave? I thought we were watching the movie together. Huh? I'm the one who should ask that. What do you mean? We were watching the movie together and then you left. We weren't watching it together. I didn't even know you were here. Or where you were. If you saw me there, why didn't you come and find me? What difference does it make? We were watching the same movie in the same room. That's not how a date works. Just saying. Although... I guess it makes a little bit of sense, again, considering her condition. <laughs> What's wrong? You're so weird. That's not a nice thing to say. Do you not want to watch the movie together anymore? Of course I do. Come, let's head back in before it ends. Except you called her weird. I don't know if it's a compliment, a compliment or not. I feel like I should make a clever remark. You feel wrong. Well, let's hope our ride's waiting for us in there. Well, I'm still missing one bubble. Where's the last bubble? Ah! 
There we go. That saves me the trouble. Excuse me. Pardon me. One side. Coming through. Just looking for some seats. I'm guessing it's the platypus because he got his own seat. Why does the platypus get his own seat? Come on. Just put him in your lap. It'll be a lot easier. Then again, I would have to solve this puzzle on her lap. That'd be kind of weird, considering she's a little kid in this. Alright. Um, five, eh? I did it! I am a genius! Not even close, but I'll take it. There's that platypus again. You know, I think this platypus is growing on me. Mostly just for convenience, but hey. That's yeah, true, it's like, if you see the platypus, chances are he's either going to be a memento, or something to bust open the memento, so. Now we're in school. Come on, dude, grow some balls. Um... It's not that. Look, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Oh, sheesh. What could possibly happen? Just think about it. Worst case scenario, she says no. You strut on like nothing happened. No one will know and everyone will still think you're cool. But what if she tells someone? Or yells at me? Don't be a little wuss! Or, or says yes, but really means no. Pfft. Quit worrying. Who would do that? And what if she throws an encyclopedia in my face? I think that's the least of your worries there, Johnny. I don't even have a helmet! Dear Lord, I'm so not prepared for this. Dude, don't panic. Just straighten your spine and quit being a little wuss. Yeah, you tell him! Everything will be alright, just turn around. Okay. Okay. Uh, hey, what are you- Shh! Nice friend. <clears throat> um, River, I kind of fancy you. I saw you at the playground. Hello. You like bread? I've got a French loaf. <laughs> Bye, I love you. Uh, hello? Can you hear me? Yes. No, I didn't. Never mind. Um, that's a cool platypus you got there. What are you reading? A book. About platypus? Platypuses? Platypi? No. Oh. I think that's great. Reading is important. Yeah, my exact thoughts, Neil. Hey, you want lighthouses? Huh? They're exactly 62nd order Fresno Lions lighthouses in the country left. Nine of them are coastal, and one of them was miles aside from a historic kerosene lamp lighthouse. Ah. Oh, is that what you're reading about? No, she's just listing off random facts she found on the internet. What do you think? Um, say, you want to go catch a movie together sometime? She looks away a lot. I don't know. That's okay, I'll give you time to consider it. I can't. Why? There's no date or time. She has a point there. Oh, uh, how about the Saturday at 8? Well... Ava, I think this is some fruit. Yes. Oh. G great! Never mind. I guess we'll work out the details later. 
You could get her phone number or something. Uh, I'll just... Yeah, my thoughts exactly. What? What do you look at me for? You think I'm going to call out how utterly awkward that was? Well, just forget it. I'm not giving in to your expectations. Give him a break. He was still just a kid. You of all people should relate. What's that supposed to mean, bruh? Shut up and go. Shut up isn't my name, you know. It might as well be. She's just reading her book. And there's that platypus again. Well, I suppose you look at it from the right angle. No, not really. Never mind. Yeah, like I said, that platypus is either a memento or it is a thing to burst the memento. So, yeah. Platypus, important. What the heck were you doing in there, dude? What? I asked her out. No. That was pathetic. If I were you, I would have just bought her there and be all like, Hey, you! That's me, you know! That's just terrible. I know, and it would have still been better than what you just did. Such an encouraging friend, isn't he? Well, his relationship with Isabel seems to go well, so I don't know. And now we're in an art room. Dear Lord, I can't believe you got me to take this stupid class. Aw, oh, come on, it's fun. Only if you can paint. That'll get good if you practice, you know. Yeah, right, after this class, I'm never picking up a brush again. Actually, I don't know if he ever actually did pick up a brush after this. I don't recall. Quite complaining. I'm sure you'll learn to enjoy it someday. Yeah, I think he might have some paintings in his house, but I'm not sure. Leonardo da Vinci trained by drawing eggs. Barrels are very big eggs. Therefore, you will all be very big da Vinci's. Thanks for that, mysterious artist lady. Person? I don't know. You don't have a face. That was weird. Anyone? Oh, okay. I, let's listen on this one, too. Anyone at all? Wow, they don't even remember the, the face of their teacher. That's kind of sad. All right, then. Rava, why don't you answer it? I know you know the answer. We're waiting, River. Fine, I guess you'll have to... He made sail on August 3rd of 1492 from the Spanish city of Palos de la Frontera, which was founded in 1322 and granted to Al Valparez de Guzman, who was at the mere age of 14 by the... Okay, okay, I already asked for the date. But see, well, not so hard. Was that talking about Columbus? Good lord, does everyone with her condition have near photographic memory? Not really, though I think their rote memory is often fairly strong. I eh, can't argue that one. It's amazing what uh, people remember these days. Like, even with my mom, it's like, I don't remember what I had for dinner last night, but I can tell you what I wore 20 years ago to a certain event. Nope, that's locked. Cafeteria only during lunch hours. Okay, makes sense. How about you guys? How are you doing? Are you having fun in the computer lab? Psst, she's coming this- just coming this way. Alt-tab! Alt-tab! What are you guys looking at? Cause if I know alt-tab... Lifesaver. They were looking at something they shouldn't have, weren't they? Although, really, why would... I don't know if it was... Would they be stupid enough to look at porn at school? I don't know. Maybe playing a game. Like, I know in, uh... When I was in high school, somebody had managed to download Halo on all the school computers, and so everybody on their breaks, instead of actually working, were playing Halo, so... That's a wrap! Yet yeah, chumps better be better next time! An atrium? 
We could use this place later. I just can't believe that these court lines are rectangles in his head. Probably because there wasn't any circular things to put in, but what do I know? Ugh. Fine, you win. Booyah! Booyah. Okay. And there's a stage here, too, with a piano. That's kind of like in one of my schools, where the auditorium was also attached to the gym. It's like it knows something. I don't know. Hey, let's go in the cafeteria for lunch. And probably more memories. Well, that's sad. He doesn't remember his other friend at the table. Yeah, she's unique, but she's uniquely boring. I mean, just look at her. Why didn't you ask her to sit with you? She just sits there by herself all day with that creepy deformed duck toy. That's not a deformed duck, that's a platypus. What the heck's a platypus? Quit making words up. Anyway, she's just so off, you know? It's like she's from a totally different planet or something. I know, isn't that cool? Uh, if you're into aliens and that sort of stuff, I guess. I mean, that's what he was doing on the computer. He was playing Honey Pop and he was just about to win with Celeste. But really, if you want to be weird, why don't you just go hang out with the emos and goths? Well, for one, I don't want to ruin my hair. The fact that we got a name for them says a lot, too. <laughs> Look, Nick, I just... I just don't want to be another typical kid in a city of typical people. But how the heck would being with her change your own identity? I mean, you'd just be some guy who hangs out with a shy girl. She's not just shy, Nick. There's something strange about her. Being strange is always a good thing, you know. Do you even know she wants to be different? Maybe she just wants to fit in like everyone else. And if she does, pushing her the other way wouldn't help, would it? Look, Nick, the point is that I know what I need. And she's the one who has it. So you want her for what she has, but not for her. That's cool, man. Eyes up, you know what you're doing. I do. I think you're wrong, though. People are that typical. Everyone's unique in some way. That's just what grandmas tell you. So he was only dating her because she was weird and it made him feel special? That's a horrible reason to date someone. Wait, so this guy's some kind of a human hog and hipster? That's sort of disturbing. You know, sometimes I want to slap our clients upside the head. It's high school, everyone's a bastard. He's got a point. But hey, welcome to the club. Wait, so this is what he told her about at the cliff. Oh yeah, that. I suppose so. She they went cuckoo be and make those creepy rabbits, right? Because he confessed this from who knows how long ago. I guess she's pretty good at holding a grudge. Hmm. Well, I'm not buying it. I agree with Dr. Ava Rosalie in this. I would be saying even if I didn't know the storyline. Something feels missing. Then go get a hat, Sherlock. Come on, I think our passport's leaning against the table there. No, oh, okay. I'm guessing I have to get one more memento. So I bet you it's with River, because I bet you that backpack is the memento. Reasons and intense aside, it's pretty remarkable that they actually met in high school. How many of those go on for more than a month nowadays, huh? I don't know about you, but mine went pretty swimmingly. Yeah? So literally, it's way right out the window. Sounds about right. And there's that platypus again. I just love how every time we see this thing, we're guaranteed a free memory link. It must have left as big a scar on his mind as it did on mine. Thank you very much. But yeah, that's... He was essentially just, you know, dating her for attention. I don't know. I'm guessing as... Should I even? No need, I'm all good now. 
Although I question. I'm guessing as time went on, he felt he actually felt for her. But originally, he was just using her. That's not a good way to start a relationship. Come, Oh, for Walnut's sake. Come, Hey. Not cool, Ava. You never bloop block someone in the middle of a Kamehameha. I mean, have you seen the show? God. What? Don't ask, Ava. Just don't ask. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely not getting this on the first go. Or maybe I am. Wait. Wow, I'm actually doing better. What the hell? Why am I suddenly getting these puzzles right? Oh, well, I'm taking it. I don't care. I... Yeah. Alright, let's see how farther back we go now. This is him going to school. I'm going to school now, Ma. Have a nice day, Jerry. My baby boy growing up so fast. Yes, she was she was in uh she had her children later in life. Or a child, I should say. I don't know, there's bunk beds, so I don't know. Ugh, what if he was a girl? Would she still nickname him after his grandpa? It wouldn't be that bad, and he actually since it ends in E. Joey Jewy, Julie, sounds cute. If it sounds so cute, why don't you marry him? Ah, oh, jealous. Oh yes, so jealous. Hi, Ma. More pickled olives? Oh, bleh, not again. Oh, pickled cucumbers. Holy crap, my mind's totally blown! You're pretty easily impressed. I would say so, yes. Although... Wouldn't pickled cucumbers just be pickles? Just saying. I found one hidden in the cushions of this couch. That's not a good sign. I'd rather find change. As long as it ain't any old Cheetos. This clock ticks. Well, to be fair, a ticking clock is pretty annoying indeed. I can't argue that one. I just walk into a little boy's room. No, mind me. I'm guessing that soccer ball is my memento, so I have to find something else. Yep, that's the memento, so I gotta find something else. No, I, I was looking somewhere else. Aha, pile of animorph books. What, that's not it? Oh, we at least bash those ones in. So where would the last one be? Because I have to pickle cucumbers. I already got that one. Ah, maybe there's one in the bedroom. That makes sense. Various books with smudge titles. Okay, I heard you, game. I'm getting to it. There we go. So yeah, it is the soccer ball. Alright, let's see what this one is. Hmm. This one's also a six. I'm probably not going to get this one on the first go, so... No, I was like, close, but no cigar. So, eh, whatever. 
no, activate the memento, and let's go forward here. What the? Ah, it smells like roadkill again. Where are we? Eva? What the hell is that? Yeah, I was gonna say, what are we in the Matrix? What's going on here? What the? That looks ominous. That's his next memory. Yeah, but why is it going Laputa on us? I don't know, it's just not linking the memories together for construction. There must be a malfunction within the machine's ADG. Again? I thought the last fix was foolproof for another half a year. I can't believe those idiots in the maintenance department. Look, don't worry, we've already gotten the teenage years saved. We might still be able to do this. Alright, but I ain't telling him about this. As long as we succeed, he doesn't have to know. Well, he's technically in a coma. He's not gonna know anyway. Well, I guess this is it. There's nothing we can do here. Ready to finalize before activation. Ladies first. What a shame. I was actually looking forward to it. Why? I mean, granted, his storyline is very unusual, but... I don't know what the heck Neil meant by that. Oh, we're already in Act 2. Billions of lighthouses stuck at the far end of the sky. Yeah, River seems to have a thing for lighthouses. The fact that she skipped treatment and didn't save her own life for the sake of a lighthouse. Don't disturb them. They might not wake easily, but they need the concentration. Okay. I don't know why they give you the option to look at all this stuff and interact when it's like, I can't actually interact. And that's all this old fool knows. Sorry I can't be of more help. Then that'll have to be enough. Hey, all that's left to do is link in your registered desire to go to the moon and your early mem to your early memories. Then we'll pull a switch and voila, you'll be on the moon in no time. I have a question. If you could make Lily disappear, that means you can alter this world. Then, can you not simply make things happen and fulfill my wish here and now? That would work if this were your one true set of memories. What do you mean? What is this, then? What am I? This is just a copy. A canvas for us to work with, if you will. As for you, you are merely an algorithm traced from Johnny. Enough to reflect his likeness, but far from complete. All we could do is prepare this canvas in a logically consistent way. And then, when we transfer your registered desire to your childhood, the machine will generate your new life, one where the desire dictates your behavior. The result of that would then be written to the real John. So you see, even if we satisfy you, you are merely a read-only program. I mean, we could reset you over and over again, and that's enough. Oh, don't be so sensitive, he's not real, you know. If you truly believe that, why did you even care to explain? I'm just trying to save time. Let's go. Okay, bye. Guess I'm following close behind. Doctor? Is that what I truly am?
Okay, bye! I don't know what the heck just happened. That's a little ominous. Ah, all of our night's work. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. Wow. And then we got this area blocked off. What the? What the? At least give me a warning first. What can I say? I like being ahead. In life? Ha 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 ha. I'd ask if that's a pun, but I'm afraid you'd say yes. Let's do this fast. I feel silly enough in this form as it is. All we need to do is to pass its desire from the latest memory to the earliest. But we'll be doing that in the next part, because this story is getting pretty juicy, pretty interesting, and I can't wait to see where it goes next. Well, actually, I already do know. But do you? Well, we'll just have to see next time. But for now, this is Star Princess HLC saying thank you very much for watching and have a fun farewell.